everyone. Thank you for joining me. Have we got a treat for you? So I've had a word with the big boss and he says that I can actually share this sneak preview of the brand new 2022 Civic with you. Now this is the 11th incarnation of the, the Civic and it's hard to believe that it all started in 1972. So yep, it is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. Now, if like me, you've had one or two Civics over the years, then you're part of a, a pretty special club. Now, it's not a, a small members club, it's actually 27 and a half million strong, because that's how many Civics we've actually sold over that period. Now, they could have been petrol, diesel, we've had Civic hybrids, and we've had Civic IMAs. Whichever you've had, you know it's a great car. Now, to mark, 2022 and the completion of our target to have our mainstream vehicles electrified by this year, this new Civic is hybrid. So it is an EHEV, and what does that mean? Well, it means it's got a two motor system. What does that mean? I've got strong performance, I've got really good economy, and I've also got low emissions. So please join me as we take a look around this fresh and yet familiar brand new Civic. So as we take our first good glance at the car, you can see it has got a very, very strong look. So very, very sleek. It's got a sporty uh, silhouette as well. And let's look at the finer details on the car as well. First things first, right in the centre, we've got the H badge, the Honda badge there, with a little bit of blue just inside, denoting, of course, it's a hybrid. We'll talk more about that in a moment. We've got this new honeycomb grille, uh, just either side of the badging there as well. And then between that and the lower grille, we've got a really smooth appearance to the bumper. At first glance, you might think this hasn't got any parking sensors, but actually it has. They're just really nice and discreet. We've got those here and we've got them lower down as well. We've got four at the front and we've got four at the back of the car, but they are actually a little bit more advanced than perhaps we've seen on previous Civics. These now use sonar, so they're more accurate and they can actually be used as part of our sensing package that we have on the car. So talking about sensing, we do have our multi-purpose camera at the top. That has now got a 100 degree angle on it. So when we're looking at cars, motorcycles, bicycles even now, in combination of the two working together, it's gonna to help the car pick those up, detect them. And if we need as drivers any sort of early information about them on the road and potentially any issues, the car's going to tell us. We get the traditional information that we've had before, lane keeping assist, uh, we get our adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation braking system, things that you've probably had on your Civics before. We've still got those. An extra little thing we have though, is we have something called traffic jam assist. Because we've now got these uh, more accurate sensors at the front and the wider angle on the camera, it can actually help us at lower speeds utilizing adaptive cruise control so it can bring the car down to a a stop and it can restart the car and it will use the camera right at the top to put mild inputs in steering keeping you less fatigued in a traffic jam situation don't worry this is not to replace you as a driver this is simply to assist you another thing that we have on uh, this particular model this is the advanced this is the the high grade uh, civic is blind spot information now previously we had a three meter detection zone at the back of the car but now, as part of uh, improved sensing, it's up to 25 metres, a massive increase, giving you more information about what's around you on the road. So that's a little bit of an intro into our sensing. We've got LED lighting, as you would expect at the front, so that's going to give us really good, powerful lighting, and it's going to make it easier to see at night and, of course, be seen. And just round on the outside edge, we have the adaptive cornering lights as well. So at low speed, they're going to illuminate. So if you're on that car park and there's that hidden post, it's hopefully going to illuminate that for you so that you can dodge it and miss it. From the lights, your eyes naturally go to the, to the bonnet. Now, if I just move slightly out of the way for you, you can see that actually the bonnet is nice and low. It's 25 millimeters lower than the previous Civic, and it looks kind of long as well. So it has a really good look to it. Part of that though, is because we've moved the base of the A-pillar further back. 
So the advantage is you've got a lower bonnet, makes it better from aerodynamics point of view. It gives you better visibility because the bonnet is further out of view. And of course, the windscreen is at a more steep angle. So nice low bonnet and it's also aluminium. So a lightweight material. Now, don't worry, because we've, we've actually got lightweight material at the back of the tailgate as well, but everything else, steel. And we've got some reinforcements behind the bumper and also in the side of the doors as well to make sure we do really, really well, as you'd expect for Honda, in the NCAP testing results. Now, underneath that bonnet, we have our two motor hybrid system. So what does that mean if you've not driven one of our hybrids before? Well, it means that you put fuel in it, you drive it, and the car looks after itself. There are three modes it can be in. So it can be a fully electric car. It takes energy from the battery at the back, and one of those motors will drive you forwards. Um, it can be hybrid. So in that mode, the petrol engine is turning over and it will create electricity on board to power the electric motor. So in either of those modes, you've got enough power to really get going. 181 horsepower, 315 newton meters of torque that is going to give you that really smooth, seamless acceleration. There's also engine drive. So in engine drive, it locks up through the, the, the single speed uh, transmission on the car. So actually, when we're cruising, use the petrol engine to drive the road wheels. So there are those three modes. Now, you could argue there's four modes because you've got regeneration. As you slow down or you get onto the brakes, the car will regenerate its energy and put it back into the car. It can even do that while you're driving along. So it's actually classified as a self-charging hybrid, so no need to plug in. And what you've actually got there is the ideal car for somebody who perhaps doesn't have off-street parking. So wipers, you wouldn't think there'd be a big story about windscreen wipers, would you? Now, <clears throat> let me tell you, there is. So we've got two jets on this side and two jets on this side, so four per wiper blade to actually give you better cleaning of the screen. So probably like me, you've been driving at night, thought I need to clean my windscreen. You've pulled the, the washer jet and you get a windscreen full of water and it's only fractions of a second, but a little bit of time before the wiper clears your view as a driver or a passenger. Well, by having the, the jets attached to the wiper blade themselves, it means that it's much less time before that water is taken off. And also a little benefit, as well as better visibility, is the fact you'll be opening the bonnet less to top up your screen wash because it uses 40% less water. Nice little touch there. As we look down the side of the vehicle, we've got these brand new design 18 inch wheels, which are looking absolutely fantastic. And then we're getting a really good look at the silhouette of the car as well. We do have our, uh, our panoramic roof there. And of course, like you may have on your, your current Honda, we have the ability to open that off of the remote as well. So always like a little bit of fresh air coming into the cabin, a little bit of sunshine coming through. But of course, in the winter, you can have that closed and the daylight coming through. So now we're at the back of the car. You can see this fastback look rather than hatchback look of the previous model. Now, part of that is to do with this one-piece tailgate, which is made of a lightweight material. The, the advantage there is obviously it's gonna be lighter to open and close. It's 20% lighter than the previous model. So we'll take a moment just to take in those, uh, those lines and they are absolutely amazing. Now, we have the, the LED stop and tail lights through there and of course the third brake light in the center just sort of breaks that up nicely there to give a real good clear view, hopefully keeping you safer on the roads. We'll open the tailgate in a moment. We've got sonar sensors at the back and these are more accurate than traditional parking sensors. So they can pick up on glass, brick walls, so making reversing even easier and safer for us. Remember, we also have the rear view camera as well, again, to assist with parking, with the fixed and also the dynamic parking lines. Just like the front though, we have these really smooth lines and very discreet sensors, but it's very uncluttered, giving it a real classy look to the back of the car. As we open it, we mentioned it's 20% lighter than before, and it is really easy to use. Wide opening to get all of our 
goods, gym bags, whatever it might be, into the boot. And with it being this one piece design, it allows us to have some, some creative flair on the design of that tailgate as well. Most of the time, you're not going to need to remove this little screen because most things are going to load in really easy. Should you need to, you can just take that off there and you've got even greater access. Now, of course, if that boot's not big enough, which it's pretty massive, but if you need a little bit more space, you can just pop those seats right the way forwards to give you so much room. So we do that with the other one as well, giving us that easy load through access. Now, from a closing point of view, you may notice that we have this screen here, and that's where it would tie up with this other screen to actually give us privacy inside the boot. So as we close the, the tailgate, you can really feel how, how incredibly light this is. So as well as having 25 millimeter shorter overhang when compared with previous Civic, so that's gonna give us nicer maneuverability, cleaner rear end. What we've also got is 35 millimeter longer wheelbase. So that's going to give us great straight line stability, but still maintaining that typical Honda Civic turn in. So it's going to be absolutely great to drive. Now, in that wheelhouse, something that we've, we've not mentioned yet is that we've got extra sound insulation. We've also got some under the bonnet as well, so that you can have this really quiet, calm environment inside the cabin when you're driving your Civic Hybrid. So welcome inside the, uh, the new Civic. Um, I'm really spoiled here. We've got such fantastic materials. The fit and finish is amazing. So of course, first thing you're probably going to get to the steering wheel and it's got a, a good feel to it, both from dimensions and also the actual materials. There's gonna be a lot of familiar items on there if you're a, an existing Honda or even specifically a, a Civic owner. We've got our volume, adaptive cruise control, um, we've got our speed limiter settings all on there. But one new thing, which I really, really love, is the fact that we have the heated steering wheel. Absolutely brilliant. Now behind the steering wheel, we actually have these paddles. So these are to adjust the amount of regenerative braking you want when you actually come off the accelerator more or less and you can actually do those with your fingertips nicely positioned there um, in front of the the steering wheel we have our 10.2 inch um, full color uh, hd lcd screen which gives you all the information you could possibly want from a driving point of view to the right hand side we have our infotainment screen this is where we can see our carplay android auto all that kind of information on there. Also, more information about the hybrid. Below that screen, we have our air vents, and this is just the attention to detail that's gone into this car. We have these little sort of joysticks that allow us to control the flow of air where we want it to go, and in front of that, we have this really nice decorative honeycombed grill, sort of full width of the dashboard. And speaking of the dashboard, it's got that real nice soft touch to it as well. So really tactile, uh, real nice design features there. And we've not forgotten it just on the dashboard because when we get to our heating controls, they've got a really good feel to them as well. Below that, we have a couple of USB charging points and we also have a wireless charging pad in this one. Now, the people in the back, they're not forgotten. We also have a couple of USBs in the back, and of course they have their rear ventilation, keeping them really nice and comfortable from a temperature point of view, added to the fact they've got plenty of space back there as well, when they're on their tablets, phones, whatever they're doing in the back of the car there. They've got an extra sort of sculpted section into the roof line, and that's just behind the panoramic roof. So sometimes you might lose a little bit of headroom if you go for a panoramic roof, not so with the Civic. There's actually that little lift in the headline so that people, nice and tall in the back, have still got plenty of space. Further back, just around the, the cup holders, we have a lovely textured finish, but it is just all of the different materials that have been used inside just lift that quality of the car. Of course, I am sitting in my nice leather seat. They're heated, they're electrically controlled as well. So I'm probably not gonna to want to get out of this car. Added to that, the infotainment system I mentioned earlier, on this particular car, it's powering 12 separate Bose speakers to give me absolutely impeccable audio. 
When I'm driving, I've got really good visibility. I mentioned that to you when we're at the front of the car because the A-pillars have been brought a little bit closer to me. That gives me a really good view forwards. And to help my view forwards, not necessarily out of the front screen, but the door mirrors, rather than being mounted at the corner of where the glass would be, they're physically mounted onto the door now. So I can see straight through there, so eliminating any blind spots. Really, really good. And of course, we've got our blind spot um, information system for vehicles behind us as well. So inside the vehicle, I am, I say, really nice and comfy. If I want to make myself even more comfortable, I can push my little button there to open my panoramic roof. So that's going to tilt up, slide back, allow a little bit of sunshine or fresh air into the car. So again, really, really good. And next to that button, there's something that we hope nobody ever has to use, but we do have our e-call button or our SOS button. So um, should there be an emergency, let's say we see somebody at the side of the road who needs a little bit of assistance, we can push that button and it will call 112, the European number for emergency services. And because the car knows exactly where it is, it can communicate that to the call center and they can send out people to help those. Heaven forbid, but let's say one of the airbags goes off in the car, and in this car, we have 11 to keep you safe inside. We have knee airbags, we have front airbags, of course, curtain airbags, one in the center, and even side airbags in the rear for rear seat passengers, as well as the standard curtain airbags. If they deployed and I didn't actually answer that call coming through, then the uh, emergency services would be directed to me, as I say. It's a great feature, but we hope nobody ever has to use it. So there we have the inside of this vehicle, spacious, comfortable, and luxurious. Thank you for joining me in the uh, little walk around that we've done of the 2022 Civic Hybrid. And what a way to celebrate 50 years with this fantastic vehicle. Now, it also marks the realization of Honda's goal to have their mainstream models electrified by the end of 2022. So if you would like to know more information or register your interest in one of these fantastic vehicles, remember to keep in touch with your local dealer. And of course, that's honda.co.uk.